Welcome back, guys. It's Ben Eats here. You're joining me for what I think is episode 15 of Alan Wake. I actually never expected to get to episode 15. I kind of figured this was going to cap around 10 episodes, so we we're like way past what I expected, and there's, I think, still quite a bit of game left. Um, we are jumping right back in where we left off, which is I don't know where because it has been a couple of weeks since I played last. Uh, so I'm actually going to have to get used to uh, the controllers as well as catch my bearings as to where I left off. Um, just busy with work, and uh, I've also uh, been taking a class outside of work, which has uh, taken a bit of my time up and uh, wrote a couple of exams that I needed to do. Uh, so that was a bit of priority. To fail, because that would be quite embarrassing. So, uh, focus there, and uh, yeah, everything went really well. So, fucking nailed it, um, mostly. Um, so I, I remember we are in the, the hotel, uh, but I don't exactly remember where we were heading. Save. Save where we. Okay, well that's that's the way to get out of the hotel. We definitely want to do that. I'm pretty sure we changed the. Whoa! Calm the fuck down, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Get the fuck out of here, bro. This guy. Nope, nope, please. Uh, an actual bad guy. Okay. So assume that we're going in the right direction. Uh, I needed to find the key. We got a six, six, five. We got a six floor key. The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Cranking this shit up. Something terrible would happen You're there. Quiet for some reason. You see, but we door, man. Serious fucking shining vibes. I'll be able to okay, so we came in a big circle. was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal.
I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Figure out what happened. All right. Okay. I don't think really anything has changed. Oh. The troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. So we got a 104 key, though. This is the fucking key. What? Who the fuck is that? Who said that shit? cooler in here. There's nothing in it. God damn it. Okay. There's nothing in here, I guess. Okay, we have a big circle. Ammo. Definitely got the pre ammo. I was trying to reload and it's it's uh, not working. Yo. Oh, man. Chill the fuck out, man. Oh, fuck. How many are there? A lot of fucking people in here. We're a little bit light on batteries right now. Batteries. Batteries. Is. Ooh, boy. What is door? Night Springs, a special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Sometimes a quaint small town, sometimes a hulking metropolis. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, like a half remembered echo of a fading dream, always familiar to us. These are the stories that take place there. More inspiring, macabre, terrifying, heartbreaking, nail-biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A haunting new season of mind-bending episodes written by Alan Wake. I am your host, Orland Dorr, and I will see you soon in Night Springs. 
Crazy. So, uh, I had completely forgotten that I'm, I'm pretty, like 90% sure that, uh, door is in control. I'm pretty sure he's a character in control. I can't remember who he is, but I knew his name was familiar. No idea. Going, bro. Yo, chill, bro. Chill, chill out. Oh, what just happened? The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. The cult in the play was called the Cult of the Tree. With their deer masks, they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror. Why are you running away, bro? It 
was locked from the other side. Two nineteen. Versus bullshit. This is where they gathered before the play. This is where it began. Okay. Do we do the thing? Hmm. Why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying? It, it seemed like it was part of the play. But it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy, kid. A haunted hotel. Yes. That's a trope for a reason. Excellent. Form the summoning in the ballroom. Get the ballroom from here. Go this way. Me, fuck off. Uh, Yo, chill out. Sounds going on here. It's getting real, all right. All directions. I recognized my writer's room on the stage. I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. I said you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess, Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. Follow the Devil's Trail. Excellent. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. Ow, oh, whoa. Yo, chill, bitches. Oh, 
There's a lot of them. Okay. Uh... Okay, 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 calm down. Oh my. That shit looks incredible. Fuck all these bitches. Go. Calm down, calm down, motherfuckers. So I should probably uh, put that shit in the, the one of the quick slots, maybe. God, I have the there now. Swarmed and fucking panicked, so I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to do right now. Shit myself. Birds of stuff. Perfect. Uh, tourist map marks all nearby resources and points of interest. Oh god damn, these are all good. Magic pocket expands Alan's inventory by one row. I think I'm gonna go with this. This one. That's good. Shit. Words of stuff. Kinds of more words of stuff. Okay. Like I said, I fucking panic. I. Is that our boy? Follow the devil's trail. I might feel like I missed something back here. Bunch of fucking people again. Okay, I'm just gonna dip. That. Off. It could not be opened on the side. Okay, so down in the ballroom.
don't know if I want to use the thing. was not the ritual murder site I was looking for. This had just been an appetizer before the main course. Get in. I was missing something. Go back. Wake. Fuck. Right way. What? There's also this added light bulb shit. Which, you know, I'm supposed to trigger that. anything there. How do I fucking get 
out of here. I want to go. I want to go home, man. Just let me go home. Maybe this is... This lets us go back. Actually access some of this shit. I don't know if I can access elevators. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. Switch it back. Maybe I can actually access. Yo. Okay. Well, I can't fucking get out of here now. Changed the story, and with that, the dark place changed. Yes, no, want to fucking hop on an elevator, try to go by the new plot elements to places that haven't been yet. It was locked from the other side. We need to go to the ballroom. I don't know what is there. Really just Elevators. Why does it point over here for elevators? Elevators are not. No, okay. 
We're not going in. There's nothing fucking in there. How the fuck do I get to the first floor? Giant first aid kit. I'm not missing a key somewhere. Fiddler the devil, I guess.
Ew. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck, man. Yo, motherfuckers. Back the fuck up. Guys in here. Okay. Uh, now what are we doing? It's like, man, I shit myself. A lot, of, a lot of dead bodies, but I'm assuming there were no stairs before, so we're going up the stairs. Here. I felt the presence of a new idea here. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception who got me a room number. Hmm. Six, six, six. He had requested that room, specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Six, six, six. Oh, shit. Going somewhere over here. Oh, fucking D and D. Can't enter any of these rooms. No. Sense his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. Okay, let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. Is this... That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. 108? The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. Turns out he knew her. Uh, He'd only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Not you again. Yo, what the fuck, man? Oh, fuck. All this shit's exploding. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. There's some lights down here. 
Fucking dead. Okay, so I guess we could fucking detour. Don't don't run. Yes, we know. Fuck say. You again. Okay. We're running. We're running. I'm running! Okay. Easy peasy! <laughs> fuck, fuck had come off. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. Anything? Are we good? Can we just go? Maybe we can. Do you like me? No, I'm awake. Do it again. Stop you with I've returned to I needed to find the muse. My max? Ooh, <laughs> sounds erotic. Why, why are you gonna do this, bro? Don't do it. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wait. Are we right. still trapped? We have the clicker. We can figure the clicker it can help us i destroyed the dark presence with it last time you can help you can find it you must find it i can get it to you i have to understand did you write the story alice is in danger i have to stop scratch i have to find return i need to get back to my apartment i'm writing a story to get through initiation it's the only way. It's a story. You can do that. You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, 
closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. That's it. That's all. End of this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Please make sure to leave a like if you did. Let me know in the comment section. And uh, hit subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out. And as always, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.